السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم ميدي ستودينس ويزي وستر محمود سليمان فروم الصفا زهريان انستيتوت اول لسن تدي اباو ويد ديفرانت غرافز بريفاسل و هاف استاديد اباو غراف و رلاين بلوت غراف تدي وي ويل لرن ان نيو لسن بات فرست وي كان تيك تو اكزامبل فور اباو غراف و رلاين بلوت غراف تو نو زم اكزامبل نمبر وان وي هاف الداتا اباو تيك تو فيفورت فرو Fund are represented the following data by a power graph. First, we have fruits, apple, orange, strawberry, mango, and banana. Number of students like apple, four, and orange, five, strawberry, eight, mango, two, banana, six. So we can represent it in a power graph like this graph. Horizontally, we, we, do, we write fruits like apple, orange, strawberry, mango, and banana. Vertically, we can write the number of students like apple. We have one, two, three, four, four students, and orange, one, two, three, four, five, strawberry, eight, and mango, two, banana, six. Example number two. This data about siblings. Brother and sister siblings, brother and sister. I'm going to represent the following data by a line plot. Students, students, uh, sibling, zero, number of students, seven, sibling, one, number of students, five, two, eight, three, three, four, two. Students, siblings, here, students, siblings, number of students, siblings at zero, number of siblings here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of students at the siblings 0 is 7, 1, 5. We do 5x like this shape. Today, our lesson, each x here represents one student. We will study today a double power graph. What is a double power graph? It's like a power graph, but we have two lines up be, be, be together with each other. It uses two different colored or shady parts to compare to similar sets to compare to similar sets of data that can be counted. Example: The following survey, survey, the following survey shows the students' favorite color for 25 boys and 25 girls. The data is organized in a table. We have colors: yellow, orange, red, green, blue. Boys who like yellow five, girls four. Orange three, three, seven, nine from boys and girls, and so on. We can represent this data. Uh, on the double power graph like this shape we have boys by purple and green and yellow by girls so yellow orange red green blue we have the horizontal axis shows the colors and the vertical axis shows the number of students the number of students so we have double we have boys and girls here so we call it double power graph double power so who likes yellow from boys five and girls four? So we will represent boys by purple like this uh, five and and girls four by yellow and orange orange three and three so equal but purple and yellow and so on. This this is a shape called a power a double power graph. Observe. The given graph and show and answer the following question. We have a graph here. He he asked it for me, which is the most preferred sport of the girls? Of the girls, we have girls here, pink and boys like pale blue or blue. So we have girls here. Who is the highest? The highest one here is this shape. Is the highest one is one. Which is the most preferred sport of the girls? So we have a basketball. And which is the most preferred sport of the boys? Of the boys, which is the, the tallest one here? This one, because boys is a blue. So we have a squash. Squash number C. How many girls like squash? Squash here, squash and girls by being. So we have 
four and half between four and five it's five between four and six is five girls which is worth like by ten girls who which is worth like by ten girls you have ten here go 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 here we have tennis is the uh, this is what is like by ten girls how many students like basketball how many students like basketball students means that boys and girls together together basketball we have 10 and 12 so we have 10 plus 12 is like 20 students choose and appreciate yeah power graph is used to compare changes between different groups or the, or to pay or to track changes over large period of time with one group survey For example, example of data can be represented by by graph. We have a favorite animal or pet. We have a favorite color or sport. We can represent this data on a bar graph. We have favorite food or fruit. We have favorite season, favorite subject, student marks. Line plot. Line plot is used to show the frequency. If we have a frequency of data on the number line, like this. Example of data can be represented by a line plot. We have a data involving measurements such as length, time, distance, height, or width. Number of siblings, number of kids, and double bar graph. A double bar graph uh, is used to used to display two sets of data on the same graph. Two sets, two sets of data on the same graph using two different colors to compare the two categories. Categories. We have example of data can be represented on double bar graph. Favorite color between boys and girls. Favorite food between boys and girls. In a double bar graph, we have two two kind of people, boys and girls. Here. Student markers of two subjects. Two subjects. Here we have two of something to get a double bar graph. Highest and lowest temperature of some cities. Highest and lowest we have the spring and the opposite of the spring. Saved amounts during months between two birds. Saved amounts during months. We, if two girls save the money in a month, we have saved the amounts. Uh, during matches between two persons. So let's take an example. Sarah collected data about the number of books. Each child read between two months, two months, May and June. Which type of graph would be would, would best to display this data? We have here child read between two months may and june so we have a double bar graph we we had we we finished our lesson today see you next week my sweet friends